international idea, uh, the staff, all the stakeholders of the organization, myself, we are very happy today to commemorate and celebrate the International Women's Day. Indeed, commemorate. Uh, this day is a moment to commemorate all the efforts that have been uh, produced to make progress in real good gender balance and equality uh, between men and women. Um, so commemorate, celebrate, but also think about the future and about uh, what is on our way ahead. And there's still a lot of work to do. Indeed, in different fields, in the fields of relations between men and women, think about uh, harassment, violence, but also, for instance, in terms of equality of working conditions, of salaries, and of course, also a lot of work that still has to be done to give more chances to women to fully participate in decision-making processes, including on domains that belong to their daily lives. The international community has um, agreed on conventions, on resolutions, uh, at the UN level, for instance, also in regional organizations. But on the other hand, this progress is balanced with the fact that based, for instance, on our um, Global State of Democracy report, we see in the data that there is still a lot of work to be done in terms of having real equality in the uh, involvement in the political decision-making process and in terms of political representation. So a lot of progress has been made. The international community has agreed on important uh, resolutions and uh, uh, decision in principle to make extra progress. But in fact, based on the facts and figures, we still see that a lot of work has to be done. The global state of democracy, for instance, gives an overview, country by country, of progress in gender equality and decision-making and influencing the political agenda. And we see that there is still an imbalance between male and female representatives. And there is also a lot of difference from region to region, with sometimes the countries, some countries in the south, performing better than countries' democracies in the north. In fact, when you look at the uh, average figures, we see that women's representation in legislators, legislators has uh, doubled from 11% in 1995 to 23.5% uh, in 2017. And the share of women in cabinets has gone up from 5% in the 80s to 14% in 2015. When you think about these figures and the pace of progress, it is, on the other hand, fair to say that we still need 40 years of time to have a real gender balanced decision making in legislatures and cabinets. And that's the reason why IDEA continues to strive for a fairer representation of women for equality, gender equality in political decision making by quota systems, for instance, but also by programs that build the capacity, that give uh, the possibility and the capacity for women to stand up for their rights. So um, on this International Women's Day, we commemorate, we celebrate, but IDEA also pledges to continue its work to strengthen the position of women in the political decision-making in our democracies. Thank you very much and uh, happy International Women's Day.